We bid your face welcome. In this quick start video, we will cover the bread and butter of general user actions in Axosoft, which include adding items, editing items, updating workflow step, and working with tabs. If you are a new user, your Axosoft administrator has likely already created projects over here in the Organize panel. Select a project to view its contents. Remember, what you have selected in the Organize panel will pre-filter what you see in the workspace. To add a new item, use the keyboard shortcut C for a quick add. You can also hit the Add button in the toolbar to jump to the full add instead. You will be taken to the Items field template where you can start populating data like title, description, and more. Once you enter what you need, save and close to return to the workspace. Axosoft also has sub-items which are great for breaking up work even further. If you need to create a sub-item underneath this item, use the keyboard shortcut N then S, or you can go to the Add menu in the toolbar and select the Add sub-item option. Enter the title, description, and more like you would for any other item. To edit any of your existing items, select the item or card and hit E on your keyboard to jump to the edit mode, or you can use the edit button in the toolbar. You will notice this is one place where you may update the workflow step. If you have multiple items selected in the workspace, you will instead be taken to the multi-edit where you can update a single field for all those selected items. This is another way you can edit workflow step for multiple items. If you are in list view or card view, use the workflow drop-down menu to update the workflow step of the selected item. If you are in card view, you can enable swim lanes and then drag and drop items from one swim lane to the other to update the workflow step. Lastly, tabs are great for creating or applying a saved view. You may already have saved tabs from other team members, which are shown here when you go to add a new tab. Create a duplicate of your current tab to make it your own. You can change the filter, update the column size, add grouping. Do whatever you'd like in order to make this tab your own. Any tabs you save will be available under Your Saved Tabs. If you make them public, then they will be located under the publicly saved tabs for your teammates to access. So it's a great way to save a view for someone else and then just tell them to make sure to add that tab to their view. You now know how to work with items and tabs. Do check out our other videos on our YouTube channel and be sure to check out our support documentation and blog for other use cases about Axosoft as well. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.